This lesson is part of the Advanced Part Design on Shape Self-Paced Lessons. Today we'll be working on Tool and you will be required to use Parting Line Draft and the Intersect Boolean. So create a new document, name it Exercise Tool, set your workspace units to inches, and then start a new sketch on the top plane. Press P to hide all planes. Now sketch the following profiles. Notice that these two lines are not horizontal. And then for the last piece, select Inscribe Polygon and draw a hexagon. Change the center line to a construction line, then add dimensions and sketch constraints. So these two circles are equal. This circle and the inscribed circle are equal. Dimension this line and the construction line and give it a 1.5 degree angle. And select the endpoints of these two lines and put 1.5. Now select these three lines and click symmetric. As you can see, the hexagon is not fully constrained yet. It's still colored blue. So click on one of the vertices and move it around until it snaps and it should turn to black. Name this sketch Top Profile. Select Extrude, select Symmetric, and then Extrude for 4 inches, and select the following profiles. Accept the Extrude. Now start a new sketch. Sketch on the front plane. and then draw the following lines. Add the following dimensions and constraints. Select this line and this line right here and the center line that you drew and click symmetric to center that line and change that into a construction line. Add dimensions Make sure that your lines extend outside of the tool. Now use the offset tool to offset these three lines. Make sure direction is going up and type 0.75. Close the profile. So name this side profile. and accept the sketch. Now create a new extrude. Now click extrude and we'll use intersect. 
choose the profile and in one direction select through all click on second end position and on that second direction select through all as well accept your extrusion let's add some fillets with one inch radius and select the following edges Accept the fillet. Now we will create a draft. Create a new sketch on the front plane again. Right click, view normal to sketch plane. And then draw the following lines. Make sure that the lines extend beyond the tool. Make the lines symmetric to the following edges. Name this sketch split line. and accept this sketch. Now select the split feature. Click face and for the spaces to split, select the eight sides. Click on entities to split with and select that line. Accept the feature. Notice that we created a split. We are going to use this split as our parting edge for our draft. So this time select draft. Select parting line. And for our pull direction, we will be pulling from the top lane. So select the top lane. Now for our parting edge, click on the split. And we'll create a draft on two sides with a draft angle of 15 degrees each. A okay, change the direction of the draft. Make sure to click on reapply fillet and accept the feature. Now add additional fillets. We'll add a fillet of 0.125 radius and select the following edges. Make sure you're not filleting the edges of the hexagon and the circle. We will be adding chamfers on those. Accept the fillet feature. Now click on chamfer and click on the edges of the hexagon. Change the distance to 130 second. Do it on both sides. Do it on the circle as well. and accept the chamfer feature. Now let's rename this part and assign a material. Search for steel and just choose the one that says steel. Accept the material. Select tool and select mass properties and you should get this number right here. If you didn't get the right mass, go look at your fillets and your chamfers. Now take a screenshot of your work.
and send a screenshot to alvarico.j at mdusd.net.